the Adafruit Audio FX Mini Soundboard with 16 megabytes of flash memory. If your project requires sound effects, music, or some type of audio playback, this is what you need. It works by itself, standalone, or it can be interfaced with a microcontroller or Arduino. The size is about 1.5 by 1 inch. The Mini comes in a 2 megabyte or 16 megabyte version to store your audio files. To transfer files to the board, just connect it to your computer, just like a USB thumb drive, and just copy the files over to it. It supports WAV or OGG files. The supply voltage ranges from 3 to 5.5 volts, or just use the built-in micro USB port to supply 5 volts. You can play back high quality sound files, mono or stereo, compressed or uncompressed. It has right and left line out connections, so you will need an amplifier and speakers. It has eight triggers. Each can trigger an audio file by just grounding the pin. You can use any mechanical type switch, like buttons or lever switches. It also has five different triggering effects based on how you name the files. The ACT pin is the activity control pin. This pin goes low when an audio file is being played. This allows you to trigger other parts of the circuit while a file is being played or delay things from happening until a sound file has stopped playing. If for some reason the soundboard is malfunctioning, you can reset the board by momentarily grounding the RST pin. You can also control the board by using a UART serial connection when using a microcontroller or Arduino. To switch to serial mode, you'll need to ground the UG pin and then reset the board by momentarily grounding the RST pin. Note that in serial mode, you cannot use the trigger pins 0 to 7. If you're using a USB cable to power the soundboard, you can access the 5 volts from the USB cable at the bus pin. This allows you to power up other devices such as the amplifier. Note that triggering did not work when the USB cable was connected to a computer. Use a USB power adapter or the voltage in pin to power the soundboard. It came with uh, male header connectors, so I just cut it to length and soldered it to the board. Okay, here's my setup. I don't have a stereo amplifier, but I do have um, these LM386 single channel amplifiers. And I do have two small speakers. I am powering the sound effects board with a USB cable. The green cable here is connected to ground. Okay, I'm going to uh, trigger the audio files. Here's trigger number zero. Audio FX, mini sound board. Trigger number one. Trigger number two. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Trigger number three. Hello. Good morning. Trigger number four. Trigger number five. And trigger number six. Thank you for visiting Ion Stuff. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more details on how to use the soundboard, I put a link in the description. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.